what's up you guys it's Catherine today is Sunday October 25th and I just filmed some just kind of random clips I didn't do too much this week because I was very busy getting my store up and ready to go so this is just a couple of clips kind of random things um, some things that we did I hung my kayak so there's gonna be some footage of that it was a struggle um, I worked on my uh, stained glass piece so there's some footage of that um, I show you a couple things that I have going into my store including one of the stickers that I ordered um, I think there's some other just like random things in there I hung out with some friends at a brewery I didn't really film that but all that stuff is gonna be in here so I'll be popping in all that stuff is gonna be in here so I'll be popping in and out as we go hey what's up it is Thursday and I actually was just doing some research on different brands of encaustic wax um both those are the only ones that i know of like off the top of my head because i've used both of those and like both of them so i was just on my uh i was just like emailing both of them <laughs> to see if they would either of them want to work with me so i sent like two emails um like for marketing sponsorship kind of stuff we'll see if anything comes of that i've never sent one of those before so i don't know what to expect but I was just searching encaustic wax on um, on Google on Bing, and this is what came up. Idea why? No idea why I was using Bing, but I mean, I guess this is just what's on my computer. So I, I literally just typed in encaustic wax, and I was trying to figure out some other information about different types of wax companies. But look, this is my video. The very first one that comes up: videos of encaustic wax in my supply list video comes up so exciting i don't know who this person is it's like expert village that's cool i actually like starts playing oh my god there i am that's me oh it is so weird what else any others i don't know i wonder if i can go to videos and see what happens that's my video that's my playlist that's my whole playlist right here wow and that's my video. Wow, wow, wow. Very cool. I'm stoked about that. I wanted to check on uh, Google as well. Not as exciting about the results, but here's video. So two, four, five, six, seventh one down is my video. This one, Caustic Wax Reviews. That's me. And then nothing, I didn't see anything on the homepage with my stuff. Mostly just branding. Where to get some. Yeah, that's it. This is a clip I filmed for Instagram just to show people how easy it was to apply a sticker or to add personality to their water bottle. You think you're so regal, and you have a drool, <laughs> drool coming down from your chin. Ew, Dorian. Dorian, look at me. Hello. Dorian. <laughs> Ew. So I spent some time today, actually pretty much the entire day, working on getting the shop live, and I think it looks awesome. I'm very excited about it. And um, this is my laundry. <laughs> I ran out of laundry pods, so those actually just came today. I should text my dad and say thank you because he ordered them for me from Sam. So I have the it's like eleven listings of two types of, like of the stickers, and I have a couple color variations for each sticker: one acrylic pen and two magnets. So those are all up right now and ready to go. But then I realized that I have <laughs> those must have fallen out of my hand when I was bringing them out. So I have some more work that I think would be you know, prudent to add to the shop as well. I am not sure what happened to the actual like footage that I was sitting on the floor showing these things, but I have a bunch of these um, like smaller embroidery hoops that I made uh, for like a brewery. Um, that's, it was a, um, an artist market at a brewery like maybe a year or two ago. So I made like a bunch of like Georgia, like UGA pride, like Georgia pride stuff. And I sold some of them, so, but I still have like a ton left over. 
and I thought I would add these to the shop. I also have a couple of like art pieces. So this is a pear, another Georgia, and then a deer head. And then I also have two of these. So this is a big Georgia and then a chair. These are like a foot, like they're like 12 and a half inches or something. I'm in the bathroom because I literally have like nowhere to put any of this stuff. I also have eight of these bookmarks of different animals and I made these back in like 2015. They're hand, they're like hand drawn, hand watercolor, hand painted on hand torn paper. So I tore the paper like by hand so it has like this nice deckled edge, which is something I learned in like printmaking. So I have eight of those. I have 19 of these. Um, they're like six, four by six, like kind of postcard things. Again, hand drawn, watercolor painted on rag paper. And so I have a variety of these, like a camel, the flamingo. My favorite is a polar bear. Let's see if I can find that one quickly. This is so weird, this one. <laughs> I thought it was a, oh, what did I think it was? I don't remember, but it's called the Jimbok. I think I called it an antelope on the shop. Here's a polar bear, I love the polar bear. So I made these when I was doing artist markets as well um, in undergrad, I was doing a lot of this stuff in undergrad. Um, and I would do this like Marietta Square artist like art walk, it was like every first Friday or something. And it was very hit or miss. Like sometimes I would sell things, sometimes I would sell a lot of things, sometimes I would absolutely sell nothing. And I just felt like it was kind of like not worth my time because it was a lot of work to like bring all this stuff and like take the time off of work and things like that. Let me move this out of the way, I'll show you the others. And then what I was also doing at the same time was these large watercolor paintings. And this is all I have left. I used to have a lot, a lot of these. And like, I think every kind of, every option of painting that I had, I don't know if I have any more, but this is a daddy long leg spider. And I was doing this weird combine of like animals kind of interacting with people in a strange way. So this is like a little kid. He's like underneath this, I called it a green daddy long legs. This is the girls flying kites, but they have butterflies on the kites. These are just prints, printed on like nice, really nice um, archival photo paper. Here's a mermaid. And then a, it's like an acrobat. She's on a pole, a girl or boy, don't really know, with the mask on, and then the tiger. Cirque de Tigre, I think is what I called that one. <laughs> okay, it's now Friday, and I was meeting my professor at school at 3.30. So I was able to spend some time in studio and instead of really doing much like solder stuff, I kind of just wanted to do some tedious stuff so I could sit and watch the CrossFit games. So I was doing the foiling, as you will see. All right, it's 6.30 and I've been watching the CrossFit games. And so I wanted to just like sit here and not do any soldering. I just wanted to do the wrapping uh, so that I could pay more attention to the games because this weekend is like finally the 2020 CrossFit games. And I'm such a weirdo because I love watching CrossFit and like watching all of the like CrossFit content on YouTube, which is basically like where I found out about it. Like I knew what CrossFit was, but like I didn't know like what it really entailed until like six months ago. I guess around COVID or was it like last year? Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> so I just wanted to work on, you know, as I said, the wrapping of the foil. So I used this entire roll of foil today. Well, I mean, I did some of it the other day to do that and then that. But as you can see, I've done now one, two, three and a half. And I've done all of the bottoms. And then all I have left to do is this half, this one piece, and then that, and then this bottom piece, and then I'm done foiling, and then it looks copper. And I love that. And I like, I like actually seeing the copper on there because it gives me a better idea of like what this is gonna look like. I mean, it's definitely my vision. Like I'm 
it's coming true what I had envisioned and so I really appreciate that um, but yeah this is all the roll all the wrapping of the backing I should say of the copper foil so I don't think I'm gonna get another one of these anytime soon I think I'm gonna use the other one to do this and then to do more of my glass because as I keep saying I need to do I just really don't like grinding I just really really don't it's just messy and I get glass in my head in my hair on my face in my eyes so I don't prefer to grind but that is definitely something that I need to do but I could probably go ahead and start um, next time I come after doing I think I will just that would be the next thing that I do the next time that I come I will finish the wrapping of the foil the seal and then start on more sod more soldering and when I run out of these which I inevitably will when I run out of the purple, not the, not this clear. When I run out of the purple, then I will finally have to go and grind more. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up here. I got uh, notified that my order from Home Depot is ready to pick up, and so I'm gonna go get that. And then that means I can install my kayak onto the wall, because that is what I ordered. I think I might check on the uh the garden center see if they have any good plants I'm thinking I already see Christmas trees I wonder if those are gonna last till Christmas those people are interested in the Christmas trees mildly oh, up putting back that white pot it was like 40 bucks and I was like I think I'll wait on that but I ended up getting this umbrella plant because it's not an umbrella plant umbrella plant it's an umbrella plant I've had an umbrella plant in the past and I don't think that I had it in the right kind of light but look how thick these stalks are this is great so there's a couple dead ones but anyway so I was here I was there, I should say, at Home Depot, uh, you know, a couple days ago, last week sometime, and I saw this, and I was like, oh, I really like that, and it was still there, and it was the only one, so I went and got it, and it's in a pretty large pot, so I'm thinking this will be a good plant, nice hardy plant, and it's supposed to be in bright light, right, full sun. So this might be something that can go outside for a bit. This box is the J-hooks to hang my kayak. I'm going to hang it right here. This area between where those shelves are to this inside line right here, that's 10 feet. The kayak is nine and a half. So I think it should fit in there. So in order to help me hang the kayak on this wall, I got a couple of things. I really only got one thing to help. So I got a stud buddy, which I guess that uh, finds nails or screws and studs so it's like a magnet that you just like slide across the wall and it will show you like where the stud is so you slide it like this and then it's like in the wall and then it's like this is where the stud is there's a nail here and then you won't drill into the nail so that's also super helpful and then for my kayak as well like at Dorian is rolling right here <laughs> yeah I think he did really well <gasps> oh my god that scared me I think he did really well while I was gone. I don't think he noticed that all day I was not here. The next thing for my kayak as well. So I've already um, got like tie down straps that will like connect. Yes, I see you. I see you. The kayak to the crossbars like on the car that I have already ordered and waiting to put them on my car. I want Drew to help me. This is a locking strap. Yeah, yeah. So here's a picture of like that you would lock. Um, it looks like, I mean, it's from Home Depot. So a ladder to crossbars on top of a work truck or whatever. But I imagine I can hook this through the inside of the handle on my kayak and lock and then connect it slash lock it to the bars so that it will stay. If I'm like, say I'm at a restaurant or something and I have my kayak on top of my car, like I don't want it to get, it to walk off. So I think this is a good purchase. It was like on clearance for like $10 a 
um, half off. And then for, I was just mentioning how I have a hard time grinding glass because of just glass like hitting my face and getting my eyes and it's just like not. And then if I have my glasses on or a mask on or something that it gets foggy and I can't see. So I'm like, this is really difficult. So I ended up getting these, which is like a face strap type of mask. Let me open it. This was like 40 bucks from 3M, anti-fog safety glasses. See clearly for longer, low, pro low profile and lightweight. It says it blocks 99% of UV. That's interesting. I'll be inside, so that's not an issue. I need it to block 100% of glass. Are you ready? Let's see if it fits my face. <laughs> yeah, I think this will be fine. <laughs> Such a good look. It's like, it's, it's really loose right now. It's like on my ponytail back here. I don't know if you can see that, um, but this is great. That will keep glass from going in. I'll probably have a nice buildup of glass here, which I'll be pleased to see how much glass like this blocked. I think that'll be great. I'm gonna leave this on for a bit. The last thing that I got is for Dorian. It is a night howl. Oh, I didn't see if it was gonna work or not. Hmm. <laughs> it doesn't light up. Let's try it, but it's not. Oh no. Ugh, I didn't see if it was gonna light up or not before I bought it. Dang it, I don't think it I don't think it turns on and I don't have a battery for it. Who the frick has these batteries? I don't have those batteries. I'm not replacing this thing that I just bought with these batteries. Uh-uh. I'm gonna have to take it back. Anyway, that's everything I got from Home Depot. Shall we see if this works? Where do we think a stud might be? Probably one below this guy. not <laughs> shouldn't there be studs like behind this oh it's not really very magnetic i'm hoping it would like catch on something it's not catching on anything shouldn't there be one right here oh there we go there's a nail we got it cool so now i know there's a stud right here perfect Palm trees. So I guess the ooh, the outdoors look really cool. Yeah, super nice. We're gonna sit outside. Hey! I'm gonna plug these in. I don't ever have them plugged in, so I don't know why. I have I bought this extension cord specifically for them. Uh, also, I don't know. I guess it's just in the corner. It's hard to get to. But look at how cute. That looks so good. All right, so it is like 8.30, 8.50 on Saturday night. And today so far, I met up with some friends, which is really fun. They actually watch my channel, so hi, <laughs> Ashley and Kyle. Um, that was great to see you guys. Um, we need to do that again really soon. We had beer at um, Academia, Academia. It's a local Athens brewery. What was funny is that we tried to go to Southern Brewing and then they went to one in Monroe, and then I went to the one that was here in Athens, and it was closed, so we couldn't go. It didn't open until two, so we ended up not going to Southern. And then we were like, okay, well, let's go to Terrapin. So I went to Terrapin, I drove over there, because it's like not very far, it was like five minutes away, and they were open, but only for like curbside pickup. We couldn't go there either. And so then we're like, okay, let's go to Academia, and Academia was fine, they were open. So we hung out there for a couple hours and caught up, and it was really great to see them. So anyway, that was been my day pretty much. I've been sitting right here working on getting my store stuff up for tomorrow, which today, probably when you're seeing this, hopefully, I'm going to have the store launch at 9 a.m. So this is probably going up a bit later in the day because I'm not going to be editing this until later. So if it is um, today, the 25th of October, go ahead and check out my store. I'm going to have stickers. I have acrylic pen, I have acrylic pen, a acrylic pen, magnets and stickers on pre-sale right now. And then I also have a good amount of like other stuff on there. So some prints that I made when I was in undergrad, those are really cheap, like really cheap. <laughs> I have some original artwork that's not really cheap. <laughs> so go check out what's on there if you're interested. Um, you, I mean, the, the, the lowest, that was hard to say, the lowest price item is a dollar. 
and everything right now during pre-sale is free shipping so go check it out from home depot i i received my straps so these are the straps for my kayak to um, strap the kayak onto the roof i haven't actually looked at these yet but they look really nice actually this is like super nice yeah i'm excited about that that should be good I was debating between like the Tuli brand straps or, but these are really nice. So I think this should be fine for the kayak to hook it onto the roof. As you know, I also got the locking ones. So I'll have all three of those straps hooking the kayak onto the like crossbars, the Tuli cross rack system. And I'm also going to go ahead and open this box. It's the uh, J hooks for the kayak to hook them onto the wall and store your drinking water. So this is what hooks onto the stud. I was wondering how this was gonna work out. Last night, well, I, gonna, I should have been just going to sleep. Do you think about that kind of stuff? You're like, oh, how is my thing gonna hook onto the wall? What hardware is it gonna use? Like, I'm trying to go to sleep, but I'm like curious. So weird. Okay, and then these are the J things that hook the kayak should sit in. So they're like, I don't know, I'd say like this. Big? I don't know, man. I don't know if the kayak is going to fit in that. Only one way to find out. So it's going on this wall, and I already started taking one of the things down. So I'm going to take the other things down. I know there's a stud right there. I don't know if I'm going to drill into it just yet. I don't know. I'm going to find out. So I found where I wanted the studs to be, and then I measured about six feet above the molding and decided that that was actually going to be too low. So I measured it once, and I was like, nah. So then I measured it twice, and I found the right spot. And so then I was like, you know what? I just want to get this done. I want this up tonight. I want to stop thinking about it. So I started drilling. I, let, I read a lot of reviews that said the nail, uh, screws break. They break. So I have one broken up in there. And I was like, getting it in there. I thought it was the right height. It's not. I need to just move it. It's actually really getting really frustrating. So it's broken off in there. I'm just gonna move it back. I had kind of moved it up a little bit. I was like, okay, I can't find the stud. I don't know where the stud is. I guess I was just slightly too far to the right. So I'm gonna move, so I moved up closer to like where the nail was per like the stud buddy. And then I lost the screw in there. So I'm gonna move it back down to where I was and just move it over slightly. So now I'm gonna have three sets of holes for one, <laughs> for one installation area. <sighs> But I was determined and I felt really bad for my neighbors, so I just kept going. Alright, I got one. I got one up. Oh, this is in my eye. It's my hair. Seems pretty secure. Secure. And the, like, because I broke that one screw, so I used some extra, like, different. Well, that one came with it. But I had to use a different screw for this, which I don't. That's not actually doing anything. That's not actually doing anything. Four dots, that's where the other one is going. We'll see how it goes. That's the head of the screw. Crazy. Sorry, I'm dying. They're up. That one took like no time at all because I figured out everything I needed to know, like doing this one. So I don't know if they're level, I don't know, we'll find out, but I'm excited to hang the kayak up and get it off the floor. Get it in, onto its permanent home above Hogwarts. Don't want to knock over my TV. I'm ready. Let's do it. My downstairs neighbors hate me <laughs> so much. That was so loud. <sighs> Yikes. All right, let's do it. Worst case scenario, it falls off the wall and breaks my TV.
it secure? I don't know. <laughs> is an earthquake going to make that fall? Probably. Do we have earthquakes here? Not really. But if we did, I would not, I would not be upset if it fell, <laughs> if an earthquake hit that. Oh, Dorian, that was really hard. This is my view now. <laughs> Tight. I found another screw and there, I should say another head of a screw. And I was like, I don't remember breaking two, but if you recall, there was a really loud snap. Ah! <laughs> and it slid into place. Well, I was like, where did this other one come from? Um, right here. So there's no screw in the stud right now. So the only thing holding on the bottom part is the top thing and one screw that's in the drywall using a drywall anchor. So I need to figure out something to go into the into the wood stud right here. But how am I supposed to do that with the kayak? I don't know. I'm scared. No, 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 no. It is not that easy just to put another screw back in as I just discovered because the screw broke, it didn't fall out. So half of the screw is still in the wall. So the only, I'm so sweaty, <laughs> it was so hard to get that up there. The only way to fix it is to drill all new holes. I'm not about to do that. Shitty, so shitty. All right, you guys, it's like 10 o'clock, I think, 10.30, and I'm gonna take Dorian to go potty. He does not know it yet. And then we're going to go to bed. So probably not at 1030. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out the store launch. Everything is uh, free shipping. <laughs> Everything is free shipping right now um, during the pre-sale. So that for the next like two, three weeks, something like that. Um, use code pre-sale for free shipping during this time and check out the store. I would be so appreciative, even if you went and looked at it, because it just like, I, I worked really hard on it and spent a lot of time on it, and it's a passion project, so. Anyway, like and subscribe to be notified for when we sporadically post, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.